one of the most asked questions that I get with doing an LX to JZ conversion is what do I do with the diff? What I did with mine, I have a GT86 Torsen. This is a 4.1. Uh, and then if you've never seen them before, this is what it looks like up in the back. So you've got little stub axles here, which I'll show you a bit more later. And then you've got your axle here. Uh, now there are three kinds of axles. There is turbo axles, not these, these aren't turbo axles, but there's turbo axles. There's non-turbo axles, and then there's four bolt uh, LX and I guess IS200 axles. These particular axles are non-turbo. They're not quite as thick, and they use a smaller six bolt PCD. You'll you'll see that in a minute. Uh, in order to fit fit the eight six diff. What a lot of people do is they use the 8.6 bolts, but what I did was I changed the front bushings for JZX bushings, and I used my existing JZX front bolts. Uh, and I, you'll see these yellow diff bushes. This brand is called Strong Flex. Uh, they're, I believe they're from Poland, uh, and I did all, all four corners of the cradle, uh, the rear diff bushes and the front diff bushes uh, because I wanted a bit stiffer, but I didn't want solid bushes. Uh, what people do is they go solid bushes here and solid bushes in the front, but then a good idea is to reinforce this cradle because if you can see, uh, it's, it's not very strong. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the rear end of the JZX. Now I've just, I don't have, uh, actually one other question is, other people ask about sway bar. So to in order to run a sway bar, you need these camber arms need to have a tab on them. JZX will have a tab on there. And then this here's the mount up here and up around here where the exhaust is, up there, up there somewhere. Uh, and then again, another tab on here. And that's how you run a rear sway bar. I obviously don't have one. I need to get arms with a tab. And then I need to work out the shackles for the uh, sway bar. So that's that. Oh, I just killed myself on the exhaust. All right, so here we have an assortment of shafts. This one is a turbo shaft. It has a thick spline here, which fits the turbo diff and 8.6 diff. Uh, and then it's got a large M12 bolts, six bolt PCD. This axle here, so this, this spline here is for eight inch diffs. These two here, this spline is for 7.5 inch diffs. So, Alteza diffs, LX diffs, NA diffs. But this particular one here has a small, so the diameter of these six bolts is smaller PCD than this one, and they're M10 bolts. These ones are M12. And then this one here is an LX axle. It's got four bolts, uh, and it's got the spline to fit the... Uh, 7.5 inch diff. Now, what my car has is it has a combination of these two. So it has a stub axle with this spline to fit the 8.6 diff, but this six bolt PCD to fit the NA axles. So this, there's one more stub shaft that goes in between here, and that's what I've got. Smaller six bolt PCD for NA axles, but with a big spline to fit the turbo diff uh 
So I bought them under the understanding they were from an IS300. Uh, the axles that fit this are either Tura V JZX or JZS 171, as far as I know. The axles that fit this one um, come in NA JZX 110, 100, uh, and various other cars. But you have to be careful when you buy these stubs and particularly the axles. So if you can see them side by side there, this one is in fact kind of deeper looking. This one's kind of a bit shallower and uh, they're not the same diameter. This one's bigger. Uh, so yeah. There you go, that's uh, diff stub axles and JZX diff.